when you get surrounded or bombarded with negativity, you have a tendency to look at it, to focus on it. Man, you've really got to replace those thoughts because I'm telling you, man, you don't have time for that in 2024. This the same that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good old Bukabe and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. And you know what God did? He gave it right the back. He said, bitch, I gave you everything you need to deal with these motherfuckers. Steve Harvey, D.L. Higley. In the cutthroat world of entertainment, secrets and lies often lurk behind the glittering facade. Today we uncover the shocking revelation that has the potential to shake the very foundations of the industry. Brace yourself as we delve into the dark side of fame where Steve Harvey's hidden threats against Monique and Cat Williams are exposed. Have you heard the latest drama in the comedy world? Cat Williams recently spilled some serious tea on Steve Harvey during a chat on Shannon Sharp's podcast. Cat claimed that Steve lied about being homeless, stole jokes, and even tried to sabotage Bernie Mac's career out of jealousy. Monique too chimed in, backing up Cat's claims and accusing Steve of being a backstabber. She had previously called out Steve for siding with elites and putting money over principles back in 2009 when she accused Oprah and Tyler Perry of blackballing her. Now Steve Harvey has finally responded, reportedly taking extreme measures to silence both Cat and Monique. But instead of calming the storm, it seems Steve's reactions has only fueled more support for Kat and Monique. The big question now is, did Steve really do what they're accusing him of? Let's break it down. In his response, Steve warns Kat and Monique to keep his name out of their mouths or face consequences. But instead of addressing the specific allegations, Steve takes a more general approach, advising people not to waste time trying to change someone who doesn't see the need for change. The irony here is that Steve is addressing the accusations indirectly, without directly refuting them. Kat and Monique, however, aren't backing down and the support for them is growing. So what's the truth behind these comedy wars? Did Steve Harvey really engage in the shady practices Kat and Monique are claiming? After winning an Oscar for her role in Precious, Monique found herself losing multiple roles that were initially offered to her. The situation took a turn when Steve Harvey on his radio show distanced himself from Monique, claiming she burned too many bridges, making it impossible for him to help her. The twist in the tale came when Monique revealed that in private,